Okay, a very big welcome to another video series on electronics. Today, I'm going to go through with you a, one component that is part of your syllabus called the LM311. Now, what this fella does is that it compares voltages. Okay, its sole uh, purpose of being is to compare voltages and to give you an outcome depending on which voltage is higher. So why do we want to compare voltages? Uh, because in our lives, we compare a lot of things. We set a standard and we see whether uh, you are higher than the standard or lower than the standard. And based on the comparison, we make a decision. Yeah. So uh, there are many things we want to compare. Uh, brightness, light, sound, heat, uh, water level, so many things that we can compare. Yeah. And based on um, the different things we want to compare, we input comparative values into one component called the LM311, and that fella is going to help us make certain decisions based on our comparisons. Okay, so we don't need to stand there and see or feel, hmm, is it getting too hot? I need to turn on the aircon. Hmm, is it getting too bright? I need to turn off the lights or vice versa. Uh, yeah, so it it kind of absolves us from being there and it helps us make the decisions for us, right? Being engineers, uh, we are lazy, we want to help, uh, we want things to help us make decisions and this is one of those components, okay? So remember LM311. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, chapter 14. Okay, so this is what the LM311 uh, symbol looks like. Uh, you have to have a VCC, this is to power up the chip, and you have to have a VEE. Uh, this is uh, your ground, okay? I've got two inputs, so these are the two inputs that I want to compare, all right? So these are the fellas that I mean, I'm looking at comparing, and this will give me the output. So depending on who is better, who is higher, who is lower, it will give us an output, okay? So you have to know, that the minus, the minus input is called the inverting input, and the the plus sign input here is called the non-inverting input. So you have to know this. Okay, so this is how it works. If if this fella is bigger than this fella, okay, if v in plus is bigger then V in minus, then the V out, okay, then V out will be a high, a one. But if the opposite holds true, if V in, the inverting input, if V in minus is greater than V in plus, then the V out will be a low. So this is a digital component. We are working in terms of uh, highs and lows for the output, uh, but your inputs can be analog. Yeah, it does not have to be digital, it can be analog, right? So just remember this. So this is a good way to convert analog to kind of a digital signal that you want, okay? All right, so this is the basic principle on how it works. Remember, V in, uh, the non-inverting greater than the inverting, the out will be, output will be high. If the inverting is greater than the non-inverting, output will be low. Remember this working principle. Okay, uh, what I described uh, was is uh, exactly here. If three volts at the non-inverting is greater than two volts at the inverting, output will be a high and vice versa. So usually what we do is that we have a reference voltage. So we usually keep one fixed. So for two when we compare, yeah? So uh, usually, I'm not gonna say all the time, but you, it is basically up to you. If you wanna put the non-inverting as your reference voltage, go ahead, knock yourself out. If you wanna put the reference voltage at the inverting, up to you. It really depends on the situation and how you want to use the LM311. Okay, so in this case, they are saying that, oh, if it's bright, 
uh, don't turn on the light. If it's dark, turn on the light. So how is this going to work? So let's take a look here. They are going to put a reference voltage at one volt. How they derive this one volt is really up to them, trial and error, uh, depending on the LDR, uh, depending, yeah, depending on the LDR value. Uh, but whatever it is, let's say they put the reference voltage at one volt. And this is the other input voltage. You'll notice that the input voltage fluctuates, fluctuates, fluctuates. But once it goes below the reference voltage, when it is dark, then the output changes. Okay, so this is the working principle behind it. It compares the voltages. So this is the circuit. The reference voltage is 1. Now, an LDR, an LDR has a resistance and light graph like this. Okay, so when it is dark, when it is dark, it's got a very high resistance. Okay, very high resistance. So the voltage across here will be very high and therefore the voltage across here will be very low. So this one will go low below the 1 volt and since this goes below the 1 volt, the output will be a high. Okay, so that's basically how it works. Uh, this is a picture, an actual picture of the DIL IC for the LM311. It's got eight legs, and remember I taught you in a previous chapter that this notch and this dot will help you identify which is your pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Know that pin 8 is your VCC, this is where you put your positive voltage. Uh, pin 4 is your VEE, um, we're not going to use it. Pin 1 is your ground. Okay, so it's slightly different from uh, the gate ICs that we've been looking at. Okay. So this is how you connect it up, okay? Pin one is ground, you have to put it at ground. Uh, pin two is your non-inverting input. Pin three is your inverting input. Pin four, like I said, we are not gonna use it. We're just gonna put it to ground. Pin five and six, we are not gonna use it. All you need to do is to short it together, that's it. Pin seven is your output, and pin six is your VCC. Now, some of you will be wondering, wait a minute, uh, why is this resistor here? So this resistor is a pull-out resistor. It is going to help us make sure that there's no floating output here. So uh, this, uh, remember, is a pull-up resistor. It's going to help us ensure that there is no floating output. Okay, so this is how you would pin it up. So depending on what you want as your reference, uh, you either pin it into pin 3 or you pin it into pin 2. Okay, so uh, this is the example here. Okay, uh, Determine whether the output signal will go high or will go low. So first of all, I need to use voltage divider method to calculate what is the voltage, the potential at this point. So they're going to use the vo uh, voltage divider method, 47 over 47 plus 47. And based on the calculations provided, this will be exactly half of this. So this is, this is going to be 2.5 volts. So in this case, you'll see uh, that this is fixed at 2.5. And what about this fella? Now, there's no vari uh, variable resistor here. Or there's no transducer here. Uh, it is fixed. We don't usually do this, but I suppose you could if you want to. So this is fixed, and we are going to do the same thing, the voltage divider method. So we find that this, if you use the voltage divider method, is 1.7 volts. So the non-inverting is greater than the inverting, and therefore the output will be a high. In this case, VCC5, the high will be theoretically a uh, 5 volts here. Okay? Uh, this is another example. In this example, they have actually used an LDR. Remember, an LDR, I drew this 
uh, just now uh, the resistance and the light intensity graph looks like this so what's happening is that they've uh, used the non-inverting as the reference they can do that it's up to you so uh, based on the voltage divider method I find that the reference voltage is 2.5 volts okay 2.5 volts when it gets dark when it gets dark the resistance is very high when it gets dark the resistance is very high and when the resistance is very high here the voltage here will also be very high okay when the inverting is higher then the non-inverting this one will go down to a low zero volts and since now there is a potential difference this is 5 volts and this is 0 volts current will flow from 5 volts to 0 volts yes this is the potential difference 5 volts to 0 volts current will flow thus lighting up your LED okay but let's take a look at what happens when it is light okay when it is very bright the resistance is very low so when I have a low resistance here I will have a low voltage across this LDR and therefore the non in sorry the inverting will go low so now my non-inverting is greater than my inverting therefore the output will go high theoretically a uh, 5 volts so if this is 5 volts and over here is also 5 volts current will not flow down because this is a zero potential difference 5 volts here 5 volts here current will not flow therefore the LED will not light up okay so that's how uh, you should be able to reason out and understand this circuit here okay so uh, there is another example here there's another example here I want you to pause this video and uh, work out this example yourself and I'll create uh, another video uh, part two of this to tell you how this um, circuit works all right so um, the video is going to stop here there will be a part two to this uh, so watch it after only after you have solved this all right